persistent through the morning hours. Eric, we're looking up in Algona and you can see it's just a tunnel to nowhere. It's really difficult to see and it's making a lot of our different cameras look like they're in black and white, but no, it is a color camera. You can be reminded there by a couple of those wreaths still up with some of those holiday lights. Temperatures right now are in the low 30s, but it only feels like the teens because we are working with sustained winds of 16 miles per hour for Algona and we are going to keep winds around, especially as we head into the afternoon hours. So expect a little bit of a difference between what the actual temperature is and what it feels like for much of today. And because temperatures are below freezing, spots like Ames, Des Moines, Grinnell, where we're continuing to see such deep reduced visibility could also be looking at the potential for freezing fog. So not only does that mean that you're probably going to be doing some scraping this morning on your windshield, but you could be running into a couple of slick spots developing on sidewalks and on roadways. So you'll want to take a little bit of extra caution. It's not just us working with this fog either. In fact, we may eventually be following this up with a little bit of a wintry mix that you kind of see there. You can see it a little bit better, I think, when we look at the full regional view. You can also see all of our neighboring states dealing with all of this fog as well, taking over states farther to the east of us and continuing to keep an eye on that line there to see if we could get maybe a little bit of freezing rain, some ice pellets out of this before we start to clear things out. You can see much nicer conditions, clearer conditions, that is, on the west side of all of this. Continuing to work with that dense fog advisory through the 9 o'clock hour. After that point, we are going to still work with cloudy skies before eventually revealing a little bit of sunshine getting into the afternoon. Mid-30s for daytime highs, so doing some melting and then continuing to drop our temperatures to the low 30s during the early evening hours. As we look toward the later morning hours, we'll see some of that sunshine there and continuing to push all the rest of this off to the east. Heading into Tuesday, morning, maybe some patchy fog, but during the afternoon hours, a nice little sun cloud mix for us, followed up by increasing chances for precipitation Tuesday night into Wednesday. This starts as a little bit of a wintry mix with more snow filling in on the back end of this before bringing it all the way into the metro, continuing with us through Wednesday afternoon into the evening hours. Still some time for some changes here, but I do expect overall accumulation to likely be between a half inch to an inch for most spots, a little bit higher up to the north and keeping most of this to the west of I-35. This is mostly a northwest event for your Wednesday. Drier conditions by the end of the work week and keeping it pretty calm through the weekend, though another round of winter weather might be possible as we look toward the end of the weekend and the start of next week.